This is the sound of me taking my last big breath before freediving 100 feet deep to catch a fish with my spear gun. I won't return to the surface to breathe for over two minutes. And this is a video of my entire dive, unedited. If you want, try to hold your breath for the whole thing. One of my dive buddies saw a giant trevally on his last dive. It's not this fish exactly, but it looked just like it. So that's what I was hoping to see when I arrived on the ocean floor. At 50 feet deep, the water pressure shrinks the air in your lungs to less than half their size on the surface. And at that point, because your lungs are so much smaller, you no longer float. Instead, you sink without having to kick your legs. And by the time you reach 100 feet, your lungs will be one quarter their normal size on the surface. It's pretty boring to watch a first person video of somebody swimming down to the bottom of the ocean. So I'll take this time to announce a spear gun giveaway. 100,000 of you responded in a recent poll saying that you're interested in learning how to spearfish. So this spear gun will be the first of many geared giveaways. In the next week or so, I'll post a video explaining the exact rules of the contest. So turn on your notifications for my channel if you're interested. Okay. I'm on the ocean floor, and right away I see these sweet lips, but they're a bit small, and I was hoping for that trevally, so I looked around a bit. No sign of that GT though, and this is a pretty deep dive, so I don't have that much time to look for it. I noticed these leather jackets, but they also noticed me noticing them, and didn't like that very much. As you can see them swim away right here. But then I grunt, mm -hmm. and one of them is a bit too curious for its own good. It's a good shot, thank god, because I really want to breathe. Time to head back up to the surface. This is my dive buddy Dieter. He's meeting me at around 70 feet deep as a safety diver. You need a safety diver like this because with spearfishing and freediving there's a chance that you might black out when you get close to the surface, especially with longer dives like this one. Which isn't a big deal if you have a partner with you, but if you're alone, it might be the last thing you ever do. I've never blacked out before, but it can happen to absolutely anyone, regardless of how skilled you are. Okay, now it's time to deal with the fish. These fish are sharp, and if you're not careful, this can happen. That evening we made fish tacos which were super delicious. <laughs> and that taco video is dropping soon.